Hello, hello, hello. This is Charles Walker Maverick Davis. And this video is going to be about culture wars going on in America. My name is Charles of Marketing Maverick Davis. I'm a brand strategist and digital marketer. And the Ultimate Brand Design Channel, the reason it's called Ultimate, is because it's going to explore the various ways branding is playing out in digital media. This particular time of season is going to be the political wars. And the political wars pick out targets and they target culture. Let's take a look. This is under fair use. Let's take a listen. Public university system. The University of North Carolina's Board of Governors just this week moved to eliminate DEI initiatives across all 17 of its campuses. This move follows a growing number of schools and state legislatures gutting programs that are intended to boost representation for historically underrepresented. Look at the language that he's using. Gutting systems. So he's framing this with the language saying, okay, we didn't pull it away and we're going after this particular culture. Let's keep listening. The groups. Now, at least 10 states have already passed anti-DEI legislation. And yet, for all of the Republican hysteria surrounding DEI... Look, look how he framed this now. The enemy is the Republicans. And he's, they're propagating this manipulative scenario on the public. And I disagree with it. Uh, the numbers show that actually, once again, today's GOP is out of step with public opinion. Seven in 10 Americans support DEI training for public employees, and 65% support DEI training for private sector employees. And that's according to a University of Massachusetts poll. Listen how he left something out. He said training. He didn't say anything about employment. He said training. Realize DEI is actually a harmful policy. It harms the workforce. Let's keep watching. Hold. Media coverage of DEI tends to link the issue of larger culture wars that are playing out between conservatives and liberals. Quick sound bites and ret Conservatives and liberals. Look what he says, the sound bites. This here is psychological manipulation that the brands are going to pander to people's feelings and beliefs. Rhetorical mudslinging sometimes makes it harder to know what exactly DEI is and what's going to happen if it's taken away. There See, he said, once they've got you going down that emotional road and support your intellectual thoughts, they have you already. And what they have is they have blinded the public on what the real issue is. Let's keep watching. There's this pervasive belief, for example, that DEI is just about hiring practices and quotas, when in reality, DEI initiatives provide a wide range of opportunities and support services beyond human resources to talented people from underserved communities. And while coverage of DEI often focuses on people of color and LGBTQ plus groups, these programs target all underrepresented groups. Look what he said. The programs primarily target minorities and the LGBTQ community, primarily. So what is the culture they're going after? Let's keep listening. Groups, including veterans and people with disabilities and some of the biggest beneficiaries of DEI, white women. Look at this now, look at this. They said, now they say it's attacking white women. Now they played the race card. Now they played the race card. And here's the thing. I happen to know that due to affirmative action implementation in the 70s 
It was designed to give people who were qualified opportunities. That's why he's standing there. See, he's the spokesperson as long as a minority is presenting this tough topic because that's what it does. If you look at the Ultimate Brand Design Channel, it talks about work for, Woke Force 2000. That was really about man. It was um, Workforce 2000, a plot about the corporations and America to give opportunities to African-American minorities. However, they also targeted the women. Go back and watch the video, Workforce, Workforce 2000. I tell you how this is a long-standing plan in America that's been playing out for decades. So why do conservatives have such a problem with it? Right-wing hysteria about DEI is partly centered on white anxieties about the country's changing demographics. Antonio Flores, who's the president of the Hispanic Association of Colleges and University. See, he framed it again. I looked at the statistics. The statistics show that African-Americans percentage of the population is on decline. So there has, there's no need for there to be any concern about whites being over pushed out of the economy. That's just not going to happen. He's framed it wrong. Google it. African-American population is on decline. The real problem is the American population is on decline. Let's keep watching. Tells NBC News that the elephant in the room is, quote, racism, saying maybe what is undergirding all of this is the founded, unfounded fear, rather, that some of the folks who have been historically monopolizing the positions of power are fearful they are going to lose that. They need to make room for the populations that are emerging. See, now I'm calling BS on this. See, African Americans, we made our inroads into the economic structure of America and the world. Dr. King told us that racism wasn't going anywhere. We were going to have to navigate that system in spite of its existence. And we've done quite well. As a matter of fact, other countries and other cultures have piggybacked off of that movement, such as people here in the Philippines. Ida B. Wells, who stood up for equal rights back in Chicago, who actually was against African-American soldiers, Buffalo soldiers, helping suppress other nationalities. I'm going to close with this. In today's world, there are more economic opportunities than ever. The gold rush going on on the internet is making people rich. It is making people have other opportunities so that they are not dependent on the employment system. However, they've been stirring this stuff up instead of saying you can actually have independence by creating your own personal brand. If you would like to know how to escape that nine to five brand, you can contact me through my link in my bio and we can go through a discovery session to see how we can recreate your profession into a lifestyle that you don't need to take a vacation from. My name is Charles Marketing Maverick Davis. Thank you.